Hi, it's Carly McAvoy. I'm looking at fractions in order of operations with fractions today. Here's four of the problems that I'm going to be doing for you. And what you might want to do is pause the video, write these down and try them, and see how you do because it's easy to do little bits and pieces of fractions. It gets much harder as you get the, all of them involved, all the different operations. Okay, so I'm going to remind you about order of operations, but you should remember that from when we did them with whole numbers. Parentheses, um, if you have more than one set, work from the innermost out. Once you have gotten rid of your parentheses, you work on the exponent. If there's more than one, work from left to right. Divide and multiply whichever comes first from left to right. Mul people say multiply or divide a lot, and it's confusing because people always think multiply comes first, but it doesn't come before division unless it's before it left to right. And then add and subtract whichever comes first from left to right. So when I look at this first problem, I have an addition and I have a multiplication. I'm always going to do the multiplication before I do the addition. So I'm just going to write one-third plus, and now I'm going to take care of this. There's nothing to cross-cancel. I'm just going to multiply straight across. One times two is two. Three times five is 15. I know to add two things together, I need to find a common denominator. You can write that vertically, or you can leave it horizontal, whichever you want. Notice the common denominator is 15, and this one already has a 15, not changing that one. But up here, I need to say 3 times 5 is 15, so 1 times 5 is 5. Again, if you'd like to write that vertically, then do that, whichever makes you the most comfortable. 5 plus 2 now is 7, and I keep the denominator the same to get 7 fifteenths. Okay. What does this mean over here when you have a 3 outside of parentheses? Well, that means multiply, even though we don't see it. But because we put this subtraction problem inside parentheses, we're going to complete the subtraction problem and then multiply it by 3. What is the common denominator for 4 and 12? Well, 4 and 12, I'm going to do this. I'm going to put the answer in there in a second. I'm going to do this one vertically since we just did the last one horizontally. And we're... 4 and 12 have a common denominator of 12. So this one's not going to change. Still have 1 12. This one is going to change. 4 times 3 is 12. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 minus 1 is 8 twelfths. But I can reduce that because 4 goes into both top and bottom here, and that gives me 2 thirds. So I'm going to come over here and say I have 3 times 2 thirds. Well, this is like 3 over 1 times 2 over 3. I don't really need the parentheses anymore as long as I recognize that it's a multiplication problem. What happens here is that the 2's the threes cancel, and that leaves, and they both go into each other one time, if you want to think about it that way. 1 times 2 is 2, and 1 times 1 is 1. We never put the 1 under there if we don't need it. We would just say that that equals 2, because it's just like for you if somebody said, how many hours did you work? You don't say, I worked two over one hours. You just say, I worked two hours, right? That's how we communicate more efficiently. So be efficient with your math communication as well. Um, okay, so let's look at this one. I have addition, I have division, and they have multiplication. The common mistake is for people to jump over here and do this multiplication. But division came first as we go left to right. So it's actually this piece that we're going to do first. We're going to leave 5 eighths the same. We're going to have a plus. We're also going to leave 3 fourths the same, and we're going to do that little piece in the middle. How do we do that? Well, we have 11 over 20 divided by 2 fifths, and that looks like 11 over 20 times 5 over 2. Remember the reciprocal? You flip that one. And now I can say 5 goes into 24 times, and it goes into itself one time. So 11 times 1 is 11, and 4 times 2 is 8. So now I'm ready to do the multiplication because that, again, is going to come before the addition. Multiply, and I can't cross-cancel anything here. So I have 5 over 8 plus 11 times 3 is 33, and 8 times 4 is 32. So now I have to add those two things together. Again, I can write it horizontally or vertically. You do what makes you comfortable. I'm going to rewrite this. The common denominator is 32. So the second one's not changing. But what about 5 eighths? 5 times 4 is 32. So 5 times 4 is 20. 
Now I'm ready to add those together. 20 plus 33 is 55 over 32. If you're asked to write that as an improper fraction, you're done. If you're asked to write it as a mixed number, then you would say 32 goes into 55 one time with um, 23 left over. And you don't have to do, be able to do that in your head. You can subtract that to see. So that would be the mixed number version. This is the improper version. Make sure you know which one that they wanted you to have. Okay, fourth one, we're going to do what's inside the parentheses and then take it to the second power and what's inside the parentheses and take it to the second power. Hopefully you've tried these on your own. Maybe you haven't. What I'm going to do right now is work this problem with a calculator. I'm going to do 1 over 6. I'm going to first turn it on. 1 over 6 plus 3 over 4. And I'm going to hit enter. That gives me what's inside here. So I can still show my work a little bit. I'm going to say that's 11 twelfths. I'm doing what's inside the parentheses first. For the second one, 1 third minus 1 fourth. And that's 1 twelfth. Now I'm going to go back and take 11 twelfths to the second power. I know 11 times 11 on the top and 12 times 12 on the bottom. That's 121 over 144. It looks like this, 11 twelfths times 11 twelfths. So 11 times 11 and 12 times 12. And then I have minus 1 twelfth. Then I have to do a subtraction problem, and I'll do this one vertically, um, maybe. 121 over 144, this is nothing, um, and then minus 112. What's the common denominator? Well, 12 goes into 144, so I have 121 over 144 minus, how many times does it go? 12 times. 12 times 12 is 144, 1 times 12 is 12. So I have 121 minus 12 is 109 over 144. I can always check 109 over 144, see if that reduces, but it doesn't. It gives me the same answer, so I don't need to worry about that. Okay, so that's my final answer, 109 over 144. You see how I did a lot of work on paper, but I also used my calculator to help me. And that's how I want my students to be able to survive, is know the process, but also have a calculator skills that allow you some flexibility there. Find the average weight of the three kittens that weigh seven eighths, one and a half, and one and a fourth pounds. I already wrote the problem down for this. This is an average is you add everything together, and then you divide by the number of things that you added. So because we're adding everything together first, that's in parentheses. And I can rewrite these as improper fractions. So it looks like 7 eighths, and this is 1 times 2 is 2, plus 1 is 3, 3 halves. 1 times 4 is 4, plus 1 is 5, 5 fourths, and then I'm going to divide by 3. Let's do that piece on our calculator. So again, my calculator button is here. Know your calculator button, or find it on by Googling it, or ask your instructor or your parent, maybe somebody at your house can help you. 7 eighths plus 3 halves, sometimes your child can help you if you're older, and 5 fourths. So I'm adding those three fractions together. Whoops, I didn't put a plus sign in there. Uh, plus, I should do a plus there. Oops, I'm really having a hard time. Plus 5 fourths. And that gives me 29 eighths. 7 eighths plus 3 halves plus 5 fourths is 29 eighths. And I'm dividing that by 3 over 1. And I'm going to then change that 29 over 8 times 1 over 3. Is there anything I can factor out of that or to reduce it? No, I can't. So I'm going to have just multiply straight across. 1 times 29 and 3 times 8. I get 29 24 and as a mixed number because we started off with mixed numbers we we'll probably want one. 24 goes into 29 one time with 5 left over. So their average weight would be 1 in 5 24 pounds. Okay have a fantastic day.